Okay, this is John Sands again. We are going to finish up chapter three talking about enterprise level authentication. So what we're talking about here is in, in the previous sections we've talked about protecting each one of these routers individually. So we had to create passwords or passwords and usernames on each individual router. Well as the network gets larger in a, in a large corporation or enterprise, that gets to be a very difficult task. So the better way to go about this in an enterprise environment, the best way to do authentication is to do server-based authentication. So in this case, what we have to do is make sure that all of our routers within an enterprise have access to our servers so they can basically reach our servers. And what we're going to basically do is on each of our routers, we are going to authenticate them to point to our radius servers when someone wants to gain access to the router to either pass through the router to gain access to the network or to manage the router and make configuration changes or, or monitor the router itself. All right, and basically, this is what's involved. You have to set up your radius servers, which we're going to show right after this. And then basically at your routers themselves, we have to set a couple basic settings. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is point our routers to the radius server itself. So in this case, our radius server would be on 192.168.1.3 workstation or server. Then what we're going to have to do is make sure that we agree upon the ports that Radius are going to use to answer the request and respond to the request for authentications. So in our lab, we're going to use ports 1812 and 1813. And then finally, what we need to do is make sure that they all agree upon the same key so that when the routers make a request to the servers, they are going to be authenticated themselves, okay? And they're going to make sure that they are legitimate routers within our network so no one could pull uh, and, and test our authentication database. So in this case, it's like a password. So we're going to call this a key. It's win radius. Uh, and we basically have to put that on each of our routers. And we also have to configure that on our server itself. Uh, basically, that's what's involved in setting this up. So we're going to walk through how do you set up the server itself. And then we're going to talk about the commands. And we're, we're going to see three commands on the screen here that we have to run at the routers in order for them to use the proper ports, use the proper key, and to authenticate to the proper server. And that basically is what's involved in setting up authentication at a server level within an enterprise.